Hey, it's Danielle Smith. You know sometimes you have a big day. Today was a big day for me. Uh, I, and I'll, I'll give you all the details, I am actually, you may or may not know this, I am actually Canadian citizen. I was born in Toronto and we moved to the United States when I was five. So I've been living in the U.S. as a permanent resident with what used to be called a green card and then was a permanent resident card since I was five years old, so for a very long time, which means that I have been in U.S. schools my entire life. I decided that I wanted to become a United States citizen and I started the process and I knew it was going to be a very intense process and so I have to admit I would put it off for quite some time. I uh, was nervous about the whole thing, knew that I was going to have to take a test uh, on history and government and all these things that I'd been in school for but was excessively nervous about it. I knew the application process was going to be intense. This is my application. Uh, I'll give you a little a little nutshell on this. This is this is my application. This includes copies of my kids birth certificates. It includes three years of tax returns of my husband and I. It includes affidavits from people who have known my husband and I uh, asserting that we are in fact married. It includes my marriage license. It includes proof that we have joint bank accounts. It includes proof that we own property together. Uh, it includes Oh my goodness, the actual application itself that says every time I've left the country since I moved here, which as you can imagine, since I moved here when I was five and I'm now a lot older than that, I've left the country quite a few times. I, I left when I was a child with my parents and I left on my honeymoon and I've left for work and I've left for vacation with my family. So I had to write down the dates that I had left. That's a lot of research too. So there's a lot to this process and after you send in your application you get a receipt and then you have to wait to get your fingerprint appointment and then you have to wait to get your appointment that says you've been scheduled for your test and your interview and your test is based on this book right here which includes 100 questions you need to know on civics and government and geography, who makes federal laws, when was the Constitution written, how many justices are on the Supreme Court, name one state that borders Canada, who's the father of our country, the Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution, name one of the writers, what are two ways Americans can participate in their democracy. There are 100 questions. You are going to be asked 10 of those questions orally, and you have to get six of the 10 right in order to pass your test. And then you also have an interview during which time you will um, make sure that they will make sure that you haven't been arrested and that you are not a terrorist and, and all of these questions that are are quite serious. So today I went in and I had to do all of that because today was that portion of the process and this piece of paper right here says you have passed the English tests of English. You passed the tests of English and U.S. history and government. So that was my big day today. We knew, I knew that this test could take anywhere from uh, up to about two hours and it lasted 15 minutes. Um, Probably because it's probably, they probably say it can last longer because you actually have to prove that you can speak English and that you can write English. And I can do both of those quite clearly. And, uh, and they actually only asked me six questions and I got all six of them right. So they didn't have to ask me any more than those. Uh, they, they did ask me how many Supreme Court justices there are, nine. They asked me uh, if the president and the United and the president and the vice president are not uh, available to run the country. Who's next? That's the Speaker of the House. Uh, they asked me how long we elect a U.S. Senator for, and that's six years. And at the moment, I'm not remembering my other questions, but I did, in fact, answer all of them correctly. And so at this moment, I'm feeling quite up on my history, and I will forever remember who was president during World War I. That's Woodrow Wilson, in case you're wondering. But I'm very excited. Now they told me that I just have to wait for my official oath of office. Uh, oath of office. Oh my gosh, not oath of office. <laughs> oath to be uh, uh, an official uh, American. So uh, not oath of office because I'm not going to be taking office. And that they said should be in September. So then I will officially be a United States citizen. 
So that is my good and my exciting news. But this was has been quite a process, and I'm very excited. I will confess that I was far more nervous today than I imagined I would be. But I am happy, and I am peaceful. And so many of you were so kind and wonderful today when I was when I was nervous and when I said that I was going to bed early last night. You were great on Twitter and you were great on Facebook. So thank you. And uh, thanks for sitting through this video. As always, I love your comments. If you've got any questions for me on the process, I feel pretty good about it. So if you'd like to know anything about the process or about any of the questions that I had to ask, answer, I'm happy to answer those. Leave your comments for me. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, come back. Ask me any questions you have. Thanks for watching as always.